Hi everyone, it's Miranda and I'm back with another DIY. Today we're making bath melts that are going to keep your skin moisturized and smell amazing in the tub. As far as ingredients, first you're going to need some shea butter. I got this 100% natural African shea butter off Amazon for five bucks. Then I'm using lemon essential oil from Insta Natural. This is going to make them smell so delicious. I'm also adding in some chamomile tea for the calming effect. I'm also putting in some pure Epsom salt from Dr. Teal's for the amazing skin benefits. For extra moisture, I'm using coconut oil. To draw out toxins, I'm using baking soda. And completely optional, you can put in some food coloring to make these extra colorful. And then of course you're gonna need some molds. These are little silicone molds that I got from Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store. You can also get them online. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a makeshift double boiler. So I'm gonna fill up a pot just a little bit with water and then place a glass bowl inside. And this is going to help our ingredients melt, but slowly and controlled. So I'm taking one fourth cup of the shea butter and I'm gonna put that into the bowl. So go ahead and let that warm up and keep kind of poking at it with your spoon and mixing it around so it doesn't get overheated in just one area. And you'll find this melts pretty easily and soon it will be completely liquid. So once it is completely melted, I'm gonna take one tablespoon of coconut oil and add that. Mine is pretty much already melted because it's pretty warm in LA right now, but go ahead and let that melt and mix them so they combine all the way. So once those two are completely combined, be very careful, use gloves if you have to. Take the bowl out of the pot and transfer it to a cool burner that's off or another you know, cool surface and let it alone for five minutes. After it's cooled down a little bit, add one tablespoon of baking soda and mix that in really well. Then go ahead and mix in half a tablespoon of the Epsom salt. Then I'm going to take the lemon essential oil and I'm going to drop in about 15 to 16 drops. Go ahead and rip open a tea bag of chamomile tea, and I only needed about half, and that was plenty, so go ahead and mix that in as well. So my mixture is already pretty yellow because the shea butter was so vibrant, but I'm actually going to add in a little bit of yellow food coloring so that it tints the bath water just a tad. Then go ahead and spoon it into your molds. And to speed up the cooling process, place them in the fridge right next to your salsa and Swiss cheese. After about an hour, these will have solidified, so you can go ahead and take them out. And if you have silicone molds like mine, you can kind of just fold them and pop them out like so. And then you've got your DIY bath melts. Even if you don't have all of these ingredients at home already, you're still going to be saving so much money because you'll be able to make tons of these. I never take a bath without some kind of melt because sitting in hot water is actually really no bueno for the skin. So these will keep your skin moisturized and make it just that much more relaxing. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! So yeah, as you can see, this has definitely made a difference on my skin. I mean, um, it's crazy to see how much it's changed because, you know, when you're seeing it in the mirror, you're seeing it slowly, so it's not as much of a blur.